TV star Keith Lemon lifts the lid on the new series of Through the Keyhole, and insists he's never rummaged through celebrities' knicker drawers. In an exclusive interview with The Daily Star, the popular comedian also spoke about his sadness at Fern Cotton quitting his much-loved ITV2 show Celebrity Juice, and admits he'd stop doing it if Holly, Willoughby, 37, ever left. Last month Fern, 37, announced she'd quit her role on the panel opposite best mate Holly after 10 years together on the show. Keith says, Fern called me to tell me, I always said I'd want to get to 10 years, and, I had a feeling, because she never phones me. We text all the time about fashion, especially when the sales are on and we both, love our clothes, and she said that she wanted to focus on her own stuff. I don't know if I'm talking out of turn, but she wants to do more serious stuff, and I guess you can't do that if you're mucking around doing juice, it's just one big party, so, I kind of respect that. I said to her well I'm leaving, then and I slept on it, I woke up and thought, I just enjoy it too much, then Holly rings and says, so who we getting then? And I went, oh you're still up for it then? Pose, Keith with Holly who is staying as, a captain, pick. Neil Janawa, ITV, and she said, I always thought I'd be the first one to leave and I said so did I. He is so popular, I'm just glad that she's still up for playing about. It's exciting, we've started calling it New School Juice we start filming again in March. Keith reveals that they've already found Fern's replacement, but his lips are sealed until they've signed the contract. He adds, I know who's doing it but it's not been confirmed. When I've seen they've signed their contract then I'll confirm it. We've had a chat about a few ideas and it had to be someone that myself and Holly are all happy with. Juice is a family. If Holly left then it wouldn't be Juice. But while it's still me and Holly, it's still Juice. Well new school Juice and I think it's good that she has that balance. She does daytime and then naughty night time with us. And seriously she'll drink you under the table. I just like a pie of larger but she's into tequila. Keith, real name Lee Francis, 45, admits that he too likes the balance between doing celebrity juice and through the keyhole. Related articles TV, Keith Lemon and Holly Willoughby, pick, Stuart C. Wilson slash Kitty Images, and still can't believe how they always managed to sort out Danny Dyer's potty mouth for the Saturday night family audience. Keith says, juice is just sordid, whereas with Drew Keyhole, well you have to behave yourself. I still don't know how they deal with Danny Dyer, somehow they managed to cut out all his swear words, he's got a right potty mouth at one. People think I go through their knicker drawers but I've never done that, although I really liked wearing Mel B's swimming costume, it was very tight. Despite all his superstar friends, singer Robbie Williams did him a special painting, that is currently hanging in his house, the Leeds born star doesn't see himself as a celebrity. He says, I'm just someone who's on the telly. When Robbie sent me the painting, he said you haven't got to put it up. I said of course I do. Robbie Williams painted it, so is there anyone that he'd love to get on the panel? He says, Kylie, I'd love her to come on anything I do. I tweeted her about Juice and she said she'd think about it, but that was ages ago. I'm always really chuffed when Jonathan Ross is on the show, as I'm a big fan, although he tells me to F C K off every time I say anything nice to him, then gives me loads of SHT. When I go on his show he's Jonathan Ross but on my show he's like a naughty teenager, just ridiculing me but I kind of enjoy it. The sixth series of Through the Keyhole returned to our screens earlier this month and it now lets viewers play along at home by not revealing whose house it is until after the celebrity panel have guessed it. And with celebrities panelists such as American reality star Caitlyn Jenner, Corey's Lucy Fallon, Strictly Judge Craig Revel Horwood and comedian Johnny Vegas there's still so much more to come. Keith says, I've been getting so many messages where people have been playing along at home so that's nice. I was so nervous meeting Caitlyn Jenner, she was lovely and it was so joyous to see her getting on with Johnny Vegas. You would never put them two together, imagine them two on a road trip. Now that would be something, and we all love Lucy Fallon, she's the next Michelle Keegan, ain't she? We've had her on Juice and she came to the rap party where she sang Tina Turner, she's great. Related articles happy, Keith meets our reporter Susan Hill, pick, Daily Star, over the years, Keith has traveled the globe showing us inside the homes of the world's biggest stars, so what has shocked him the most? He says, 
What I found is people have different standards of cleanliness. I wouldn't like to name names, but there were some that definitely needed a bit more attention. You can never second guess what someone's house is going to be like. You might have a big name and you think that they're going to live somewhere posh and then they don't. We've seen his antics inside the homes of some of our most beloved stars, but has he actually damaged their properties? He says, yeah, we've broken loads during filming. The worst one was Sue Pollard when we set her curtains on fire. The camera lights were leaning against her curtains. Someone said, can you smell burning? We brought her new ones, and she was very happy but she is always happy. There was also Denise Welch, who had this strange small office in her basement with a false roof. It was very small, and I stood up quick and my head went through the ceiling so we sent her a new tile. It was leopard print, but her husband didn't like it so we sent her a plain one. Readers can watch Keith on Through the Keyhole on Saturday nights on ITV, related articles.